Hi, this is Jeff from the Ozark Mountains in Missouri, USA. Well, we've got another new product announcement video here, and this time it has to do with memory for, as you guessed it, the Sharp PC 1500. Without further ado, let's get started. When Sharp first released the PC 1500, and uh, when it was rebadged as a Radio Shack PC 2, this had about 2K of user accessible RAM. Part of that was actually in the LCD uh, controller chips and it was used for the fixed variable RAM. And the other was about 1.5K of RAM that was a uh, static RAM that was installed in here. Uh, they did offer some 4K, 8K, and then eventually uh, 16K modules. And at the very end, they had a... a 32K module, which was two 16K banks, but that was a little difficult to use, which I'll explain in a bit. Um, and nowadays, you can find the 4K and 8K modules. Um, it's not too hard. The 16K are harder to get, and these are as expensive as the computer itself. So uh, my friend that's done the backpack and all sorts of other cool vintage computer stuff came up with these boards. Uh, this one has eight 16K RAM banks and eight 16K flash banks on one board. And this one is eight 16K RAM banks. Uh, this one's a little more expensive than this one because you got the flash chip on there. Um, but essentially they work very, very, very similar. And they're easy to use. Uh, one, I was mentioning that Sharp's 32K module, why it was hard to use. Well, when you switch banks, all of your RAM pointers don't match the new bank that you switch to. So you have to do some housekeeping on there. So my friend uh, wrote some firmware that when you install the module, the firmware gets installed in the first uh, few bytes, which is why I have new 104 and new you know uh, hex 112 stickers on here to remind me instead of typing new zero you type this and that reserves the memory at the bottom for uh, what's needed for swip, uh, swappy banks so when you uh, swap banks there's a built-in program to do that it copies all the current ram pointers saves them into the slow memory and then when you jump back to that bank it restores those ram pointers so you can uh, run you know, one program and stop and switch to the other bank and run your other program and you really don't have to think about it. It works great. So I'll show you how to install these. Uh, the Since we have Flash on this one, it has its configuration program built into it. With the, the RAM only version, you need to uh, load a small basic program and which is a basic loader it'll poke some machine code into memory then you run that machine code and it installs the loader so uh, or that you run the machine code and it initializes the ram for you so when you order these i will uh, put a battery in this guy and already initialize it for you so you don't have to worry about that to start with if you've got a ce uh, 158 or the new 158x it's very easy to load that into your machine and then initialize it uh, with the Flash, like I said, it's already got that built into Flash, so it makes it much easier. Uh, these are some brand new modules. I haven't put batteries in these yet. Uh, this is my original Flash module, which I've had for several months now. And I let the batteries in the computer die, which uh, sucked down the battery in this guy. So I'm going to install a new battery in it and show you how to initialize it. Okay, you see I've got the back off of this guy. I'm going to go ahead and slip my CR2016 battery into my RAM and flash module. This is the CE163F, just like that. Then I'm going to take all of the batteries out of my PC1500 here. I'm going to grab this guy like this. Pop it in there and then put my batteries back in. 
it's very important to make sure that when you're installing and removing this module that you do not have the batteries in the computer. Uh, once you have the module installed and configured, you can swap the batteries on the computer and the battery here will keep all the contents of the RAM intact. Go ahead and put this back on. Put your back cover on. Now when I turn this on, it says new zero. So I'm going to type new zero, enter. And all this is in the, the manual, which is available for download. It explains all the commands and things like that. This does kind of the course uh, initialization, but only on the bank it comes up with. And from a new power one like this, it's going to come up on bank zero, which is RAM. The first uh, zero through seven are RAM, eight through 15 are flash. And what we want to do is manually switch to bank eight, which is the first flash bank. And that is occupied with the initialization program. So I want to poke. Five eight zero eight comma zero. And then I'm going to type in X equals zero. Uh, a value of zero here will format both the flash banks and the RAM banks. Eight will do just the RAM and 15 will do just the flash. So I'm going to do zero. And then I'm going to call uh, the convention on uh, these computers is to use the at symbol for hexadecimal to not confuse it with the dollar symbol, which are strings in basic. So anyhow, uh, call to 90 comma X. Now watch the screen here real close. It will uh, pop some stuff up there as it's working uh, on the PC 1500A. The things you type in are slightly different, but that's all in the manual. It's formatting the RAM, formatting the flash, and now we're done. So um, right now we are on uh, bank eight. Um, let's say we want to go to bank zero. So I type in X equals zero, enter, call at E3, uh, comma, X, enter. Now we're on bank zero. And if you use X equals one, then you'd go to bank one. And if we want to uh, figure out which bank we're on, we can do peak at E2 it tells us we're on bank zero. So you could use this just like it was a regular uh, uh, 16K module. You type your programs in, da 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 da. The one thing you will want to do, let me show you this in the manual. There is a section here that says install keyboard interception. When you get your module in and initialize, you'll want to do this. Uh, when you do this, when you press the off button, it's not going to run the normal off routine. It's going to go in, look at your current RAM pointers. It's going to save those to that little bit of RAM at the beginning of your uh, bank. So the next time you turn it on, everything will be just fine. Uh, if you don't do that, you have to remember to uh, save those RAM pointers manually. Uh, that call is listed in the manual. So. Uh, my suggestion is turn on the keyboard interception. It won't cause any problems whatsoever. And that way it works automatically for you. Uh, the RAM module, as I mentioned, is a little different in that you have to load a basic program, which pokes a machine language program into memory. Um, and then you run that machine language program and it'll initialize it in a similar way as uh, the, the flash module did. 
I will uh, send the RAM module to you pre-formatted. Uh, since the ROM so easy to, or the, the flash is so easy to do, I'll send the battery with it and you can format yourself that way that the battery isn't being drained while it's in shipping. Uh, the battery in the flash and RAM module will last about four weeks uh, without uh, any battery power in the computer. And uh, the RAM only will last, you know, eight weeks or so. So not as worried about the amount of time it will take for the RAM module. So uh, the same way when you want to install the RAM module, take out all your batteries. Now, of course, I've already have a RAM module in here, so I'm going to pop this guy out. Pop him back in. This is like you'll be doing when, when you get the module. Install the batteries. Like so. And now since I had the module out and the batteries out, instead of typing new zero here because I know my RAM module is initialized, I'm going to type new at 104. And that should initialize just the current bank I'm on, which should be zero. Ah, got to be in program mode. New at 104. Just like that. And I actually just put these stickers on the other day because I was using these to test some other stuff and I forgot which computer I had. Uh, these banked RAM modules in and I hit new zero and you can recover from that. It's just a little more work. So I made the, up these little stickers to remind myself on this guy to switch banks. It's the same process with a slightly different call address uh, as for the, the flash module. We'll say uh, X equals one call at D five comma x and we can check which bank we're at by doing peak d4 we're on bank one now if everything went right i have a program in here uh, this is something i found out it was not one of the design intentions of these modules but you can actually change banks programmatically but there are some things to keep in mind so this is the short program uh, i'll make this available for download there'll be a link in the description it just says which bank it is it will uh, tell you which bank you're starting out at start at bank and that does the peak d4 then it's going to set x equal to 2 call d5 come x is going to go to bank 2 and in bank two, bank two is laid out exactly like this, except this says X equals one. Okay. I'm going to switch to um, run mode here. Remember, we're in bank one now. I'm going to go run. We'll say we're starting on bank one, but we ended at bank two. So now we're in bank two. We can verify that by going peak D4. We're in bank two and run we're starting at bank two we're ending at bank one the lines uh, that you're uh, are doing the the bank switching need to be low down in memory and they have to be identical in length um, so the only differences i had there was the bank it was set to I got this idea from some of the old uh, banked basic program ROMs. That's how they did things. So like the first 10 lines did the bank switching and they were basically all the same from bank to bank. And they might have uh, like a, a go to or go sub to some other line number. And let's say go sub 1000. And what was that 1000 might be different code in each bank. 
but those initial lines that were being jumped to with the banking were the same. There's some other things to keep in mind, and I'm not going to get into that. It's not the purpose of this video, um, but it's an interesting technique, and I'd be interested to see what people do with it. If uh, you guys are interested in finding out some more fun things to do with uh, banking programmatically uh, inside of a running program, let me know, and I will do a video on that topic. So, uh, by the time you see this video, oops, bump the camera. Both of these guys will be up on the website. We've got a small number of each right now. And when we see what the uh, demand is, we will build some more. The uh, RAM and flash takes a CR2016. That's included. The RAM only takes a CR2032. That is also included. And I will include a sticker for each one so you can stick on your computer if you should choose to do that. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down there in that comment section. I would love to hear from you. Uh, the link to the, the modules, uh, the product page for those uh, is down in the description. So let me know what you think. Uh, I think these are great and they've been very handy for development and stuff like that because I can keep multiple programs loaded and switch back and forth. Anyhow, uh, if that interests you, jump on the website and grab one, and we appreciate it. Thanks, and bye for now.